Master Master here. All right, how do you prepare yourself mentally for a fight? I show you all the time different physical ways, you know, conditioning stuff, you know, punching, kicking, takedown defense, uh, grappling stuff. That's physical. How do you prepare yourself mentally? You can lose the fight mentally. You, some guys psych themselves out before they even get there. Some guys just punk out of a fight. But I want to tell you three ways, three ways how to prepare yourself mentally for a fight so you can win that fight, whether it's a cage, ring, mat, or street, okay? Now, I, I created a little acronym called PAW, P-A-W, like a cute little doggy, PAW. Let me tell you, number one, P, physical. The more physically ready you are for a fight, the more mentally you will be prepared. You're always going to go back to your training whenever you get in a fight. If somebody jumps you on the street and you feel physically prepared, you're going to do a lot better than if you, you don't. You go, do I have the power? Have I been training? My conditioning, I'm going to run out of gas. And the same goes for the cage. You can't let it all hang out when you need to if you can't rely on your gas tank. You, you, you might not have the conditioning. You might not have thrown that left hook enough, so you might not have confidence in it. You might not have done all your calisthenics and, 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 and uh, strength training, so you don't feel like you have the strength. So if you don't have those things and you know you don't, mentally you will not be prepared. So the number one way to, to prepare yourself mentally for a fight is to be prepared physically. Okay. Number two, if all other things are equal, the fighter with the most animal instinct, animal instinct will win. Some guys don't even have that much skill, but they have so much more animal instinct or killer instinct um, that they'll, they're going to win the fight. You've seen those guys like Arturo Gatti. He didn't have much, uh, much skill at all, but he had so much animal instinct. He just went for it. So how do you train this? The way you train this is visualize. Every time you're on the bag, visualize someone attacking you. Visualize things you have to dig in deep to do, gouging, biting, or whatever. If you're training for a, a sport fight, visualize somebody trying to take your title away and how are you going to beat them. Okay? You got to catch them with that hook. Sometimes you have to go that extra mile. If you get them hurt, you have to go for it. If you're behind, you have to push, push, push. You need that animal instinct, right? So you develop it while training. If you don't have any to begin with, maybe you can develop some, but you know, the more you have, the better you're going to be. Some guys just don't have any. They're never going to make it in the cage. Hopefully their skill will get them by in the street, but animal instinct is a very important skill to develop. I know it's called instinct, but you can develop certain instincts by visualization and training methods, okay? Number three, W. W is why. In the cage, it's going to be, why do I want that title? You have to want it bad, and there has to be a reason. Whether you want to feed your family, whether you want to create wealth for, your, for the generations to come, or maybe you don't care about money. Maybe you just want to be known as the best fighter in your weight class. Maybe you want to be a legacy. It, it doesn't matter what the why is, but there has to be a why. You have, when you're down and out in that last round and you're almost knocked out, sometimes you just have to go back to that why, and that why can get you through. In the street, it's easy. You want to go home to your family. You don't want to be dead. You don't want to be in a fucking coma with a tracheostomy. That's an easy no-brainer why in the street. You want to stay alive. And that's your why in the street. You have to develop that why. It has, to be, it has to be in the forefront of your brain while you're training all the time. Why? It does, just like anything. In business, why do you want to get to the top? In, in, in art, whatever you're doing, there has to be a why. And there definitely has to be in martial arts or fighting, all right? So those are the three ways that you can mentally prepare yourself for a fight. So, P, physical. A, animal instinct. W, Y. Thanks for coming, guys. Please comment, please share, and please like.